Chris here, and I have a bit of a review for everybody. This review will be on the new Badger Primer that will be released soon enough. Ken over at Badger was kind enough to send me a couple samples of their up and coming primer. And I believe they've released the name for it, Stylo Res, which, you know, very interesting name. The primer itself is very interesting. I've been using it for a while now. I've used in the past Vallejo's airbrush primer for uh, my all my priming needs essentially. And so I've used Stylo Res, that's the new name. I've been using this primer for a little bit. I've used it on various surfaces and I have found it to be quite good. If anybody's gonna be sticking with one particular kind of brand through their airbrushing needs, I think Minotaur and this new primer from Badger will meet just about everybody's needs. These bottles right now, the sample pack I had gotten, they come in the same size as Minotaur's colors. You can see here. The bottles I had gotten are pretty much the same size as Minotaur's regular bottles. These are the uh, one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters to the rest of the planet. They're pretty darn good. Hopefully they come out with some larger size bottles as you may get from Vallejo. You'll get their black and you can see the black that you get from them is 60 milliliters and you get quite a bit in here versus this one and for the price point you know these guys sell a pretty darn good product and so I'm not sure what the price will be on this product yet but I imagine that they're gonna be putting it in a larger bottle once they get all the little labels and everything all that published and get it ready but so far I really enjoy it. I've been using a lot of the black I've been using a little bit of the gray and a little bit of the white and I have not found any particular Areas uh, where I've wanted these primers, you know, to do something else. They've done very well. I've used them in the airbrush as well as outside the airbrush. I was thinking of doing a bit of a compare and contrast with these primers versus Vallejo's primers. You know, how they stack up to each other because again, the Vallejo, I've used that quite a bit. I'm not going to compare this to brush on primers like Citadel's or Vallejo's brush on primer as it's really not, you know, the main purpose of this stuff. Uh, really, it's designed for the airbrush, it's really thin. It's gonna cover very well, very quickly. Uh, unlike, you know, brush on primers, which tend to be just a little bit thicker body on them. Whereas anybody who's familiar with airbrush paints, very, very thin, and they're obviously designed to go through an airbrush. So we're not gonna worry about comparing it to Citadel's or Vallejo's brush on primers, as that's not really the role for these things. And so let's just jump right into a quick couple comparison with style, style res, style res, style res, style res. I, w I wasn't a part of the committee on naming the name, but style res. I'm sure there's a backstory to that name. Um, Minotaur, you kind of get Minotaur, right? Minotaur, miniature, miniature air, Minotaur, right? Style res. I'm not sure where that name comes from. It does not flow off the tongue as easy as one would think. So, I don't know. But, primers, let's have a look. Okay, so here we have two little orc boys. These are plastic GW miniatures. We have the Vallejo gray surface primer on the right, and we have the Badger primer on the left. You can see right off the bat that the two gray primers are not the same value. And that's not going to be a huge issue, but they're both a light gray. You can see we're going to be using a Badger 105 Patriot airbrush. We're going to be using it at 60 PSI for these little demonstrations. And so really fast here, we're just going to take one of these little orc boys and we're going to begin spraying on the primer. And you can see I'm only about uh, eight inches away from the model as I'm spraying. 60 PSI, you might want to turn it down a bit for some of you out there. Uh, most of my airbrushing I do at 60 just because I'm used to it and you know when you're priming you know you can kind of just you know spray it right out. I usually don't have the trigger all the way back when I'm laying out the primer. I actually kind of like to 
lay it out nice and even and slow just so that I can maintain a lot of control and of course with priming you know you don't really need to prime the, every millimeter of the model just as long as you get a good even coat down onto the guy and as you can see we just kind of work our way around the model that you know it co this is the Vallejo stuff now some of you might not be very familiar with Vallejo but it covers very well and it's pretty even and as you can see the model looks nice and primed and we're gonna go to this next little guy plastic model and we're gonna use the style res style style 9 whatever <laughs> the badger uh, primer and so the same thing as before gonna be about 8 inches out from the model and we're gonna work our way around there's again 60 psi haven't changed any of the settings just simply washed out the brush before start laying this stuff out and the one thing I do notice when using the Badger primer is it goes on nice and smooth initially. It looks really good. And even when you do kind of over prime an area, it's not so bad. Um, I find with the Vallejo one, if I over prime, it takes on a bit of a surface. Whereas with this uh, Badger primer, it, uh, it goes on pretty even and stays pretty even. It is really thin in comparison to the Vallejo primer, the uh, the surface tension and everything like that. Like it is, the Vallejo primer has a little bit more body to it than than this Minotaur one, and so and so really quickly here we're just going to get a little close up of the two models. And as you can see from the bases, you can see that they're pretty much the same. They're pretty close. You can see the little speckles left over, you know, the overspray, what have you that uh, the primers do cover pretty much the same way. They got the same amount of little pigment flying out of them. You can see the surfaces are pretty smooth and clean, even coverage over the models. And again, pretty even. It's pretty dead even if you have to, if you have to ask me seriously. But some of you might be asking, well, geez, let's, uh, how does it cover over a metal model, a pewter model? So I have two little guys from War Machine here, as there's a lot of pewter in that game system. And so we're going to use Vallejo's Surface Primer, black, and we're going to compare it to Badger's black. Again, this is going to be just really quick. We're going to use the Patriot 105. We're using it at 60 PSI, and we're spraying from about 8 inches away. Not a huge issue. And again, with the black, it's very noticeable when you start priming and you, if you over prime or under prime, but under priming is okay. It's really the under over priming that's a concern. And so really quickly there, just kind of trying to get a little more even coverage over the model, just to show how well it does cover. So you can see the back of the model here. I'm just gonna spray a little bit more again. Laying it down nice and even. You can see it really doesn't take a whole lot to get that coverage down as we work our way around the surface of the model. And if I was a little further away, I think I would have probably got a little bit more chalkiness, probably out of both primers. I never really tried the Style, style 9, Style Niz, Style Res? We'll just call it Style Niz Res. I haven't really tried that one at a far distance from a model to try and get a really kind of dusty appearance. Usually, you know, when you spray out of a spray can, you know, you have to go about that 30 centimeters, a foot away the model. With the airbrush, I find, you know, you can vary your distances as you work the primer into the areas. Again, you know, I'm just kind of just going around this model and just kind of giving it a nice heavy coverage. Not necessary with black, as you most likely don't want to over prime. But you can see a little bit of silver showing through, but that's okay. Covers very well. Here we're going to use another guy. Same kind of unit. Going to use the black. And again, Patriot 105, 60 PSI. Spraying from about 8 inches away from the model. 6 to 8. Really kind of varies. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And again, we're just going up and down to the surface of the model. And as you can see, it flows out really nicely. Now with the black, I've been using the black quite a bit 
on a lot of models and I've been using it on plastic models and pewter models and resin models for that matter and it covers really well as you can see it really doesn't take very long to get that nice even coverage on the flat areas you just change your angles a little bit just to try and get into some of those under points and everything like that but again like the, when you're spraying the primer you're not trying to cover every millimeter of the model you just need that surface primer just to get onto the surface so that the paint has something to grab onto it's not meant to you know provide a black base coat if you're doing that then you, you know you're not doing it right <laughs> as you can see there i kind of over primed a bit on the black but it's fine it doesn't uh it doesn't upset anything in fact the model looks just fine a little bit of over prime on the top and really quickly here I'm just doing a little side by side of these guys as you can see here now one thing i will note is that the badger primer doesn't seem as strong a black when compared compared to the vallejo one but other than that i do like the matte finish it does leave the vallejo one if you do over prime just a hair you can tell because it gets a little bit uh, glossy versus the badger which stays nice and matte even if you over prime but that is it that's a nice little side by side comparison of the two and i would recommend anybody to pick up these badger primers hopefully some of you found that little comparison useful and informative i suppose <laughs> hopefully it helps you make a decision once these products hit the market you can say well i might as well stay with minotaur as they produce a really good primer it's comparable to everybody else's primers well Everybody that as far as I know anyway. <laughs> and as you can see, the primers as they stack up to each other are very comparable. And once these primers hit the market, I think uh, they'll have a winner on their hands. And so feel free to like and subscribe if you found this review of some sort of use. And I will see you in the next video.